Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we have one more another problem on SQL. So in this problem we have one table called user visits and in this user visits we have user ID and uh, users visit visit date. So this is our table and you can see this uh, user number one has visited three times and user number two visited two times and similarly visit user user number three visited single time. And what we have to do in this is assume today date is 2021 first first write an SQL query that will for each user ID find out the largest window of days between each visit and the one right after it or or, to, or, or today if you are considering it as a last visit. so the problem is let me explain you this problem so the in the in this problem what we have to do is we have to find out the largest number of days between two visits for example for this uh, user one uh, this is the first time this user visited right and this is the last time when the user visited so what we have to do is we have to find the number of days between this date and this date and similarly we have to find the number of days between this date and this date and if we don't have any you know date after this we have to consider this date as a current date and we have to find the difference between this date and this current date so this is how we have to find uh, the difference or the window between each days and then when we have the windows what we have to do is we have to find the largest window for each user id so i hope this question is clear so let me show you how the output will be like so this is our input table and output will look like something this so for this user id one the largest number of windows days, days is 39 for this two it is 65 on for this three user id three it is 51 so let me solve this problem and show you how we can do this so uh, first uh, to find the difference between this date and this date what we have to do is uh, by some way we have to take this date in this particular row so for that uh, we have one function called a lag function so we can use lag function in to lag this value here so let's see how we can do this so select star comma lag of and uh, what we have to lag it's visit date comma we have to lag this by one and if we do not have any value available so in that case what we have to consider is this this uh, we should have to consider this as a uh, lag value so let's also take this zero and we have to do this over partition by user id and order by visit date and we have to do this in descending and we can take this as um, we can take this as lag date from this user visit table okay so let's run this first okay so you can see for this date we have this values uh, we have lagged this value here so we can take the difference between these two dates and similarly we have lagged this value here we can take also take the difference between them and similarly if we don't have the any you know uh, value after this so we are taking this as today's date and we can take the difference between them so to take the difference between them what we can do is we can write one more condition we can take uh, date difference date diff and in the date diff we want the output in days and uh, what we want is we want the difference between a lag date lag date is nothing but it is this entire date and this visit date and we can say this as diff so let me run this so you can see uh, we have these uh, differences but right now these differences are in negative because because we have to do the subtraction of visit date minus lag date but we have done this reverse so we can to fix this we are just uh, doing multiply by minus one so let me rerun this so we have these dates so and out of now now we have the difference days and what we have to do is we have to pick the maximum for each user so for this user we have this as uh, 39 for this uh, user id 2 we have 65 and for this user id 3 we have 51 so to pick the maximum date what we can do is we can convert this into ct and uh, 
let's print the CTE table select star from CTE and for each user ID pick the maximum of diff and let's call this as window and because we have used the maximum function and we have to do this for each user ID so let's also take this group by user ID and let's run this again okay so you can see for this user ID 1 we have 39 window and for this user ID 2 the maximum window is 65 and for this user ID 3 it is 51 which is matching with our out expected output so this is how we can solve this problem and going forward I will be solving more problems on my channel so if you like my video do subscribe my channel Thank you.